everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here on the other side working on the greenhouse over here, doing the same box beam that I was working on yesterday. Uh, when I first got here today, I fixed the issue that we had had with those electrical boxes inside. I mentioned that the uh, electrician said that uh, a, the regular kind of metal box for putting a socket or like a receptacle or a switch into, those are fine for sconces. You're going to hang on the wall, but anything you're going to hang from the ceiling, uh, they need to have a larger box that can hold a fan. The idea is that in the future someone may want to hang a fan, fan there and they want the box to be all ready for that. So I went through, there were actually only 10 of them. I thought there were 11, but there were only 10 of them. Uh, you know, got those all, uh, they're not swapped out because I don't know the size of the new box. The electrician was going to bring it today, but I just got a text from him. He said he had some kind of an emergency. He can't make it today. He'll be here tomorrow. I, I'm really hoping it's not going down the road of everything else where everybody that gets on board on this project has some kind of personal life emergency. I, I hope both for his sake and for my own, uh, that's not the case. Uh, so hopefully we'll see him tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I'm just working on this and then I'll probably maybe start working on these, uh, these are the uh, ceiling joists that are gonna go up in those holders. These are all, all the two by eights. I might start uh, cutting them to, to fit up in there. Uh, I mentioned yesterday, uh, I was going to talk about radon today. Uh, we do have radon in the house, and uh, I'm just trying to figure out, uh, you know, uh, what the, the nature of it is, how much it is, you know, whether the air exchange is going to take care of it and whatnot. Uh, also, where it's coming from. It seems like it's coming from uh, underneath the tub down, or the shower unit downstairs. Uh, I think that when I asked the, um, the plumber whether he had sealed that area up before he put the tub on, uh, when he said yes, I think what he meant is no, I didn't, but you're never going to be able to tell, so I'm just going to tell you that I did it. It seems like there's radon coming out of there uh, because there was a big hole under the tub where the drain goes down that goes right down to this gravel stuff. Uh, remember, under the house is all this gravel. It was made there, uh, you know, with a, uh, a base. Also, if we had a radon problem, having gravel lit with air, where air can go, move through it makes it uh, easier for you to uh, install a, a radon mitigation system. Well, the irony here, the biting irony, is that the gravel that was brought in, this gravel that you see right down here, is incredibly rich in radon. I took a, a, a bunch of it and put it into a jar, put the radon detector in the jar, and after three days, the levels of radon are 20 times higher than what's considered safe. Uh, so it, the radon mitigation gravel is heavily contaminated with radon, which just fits right into this whole project. I don't know whether there are regulations in the state about uh, preventing contractors from dumping radon rich materials under someone's house. You kind of think there would be, especially where there's regulations about what kind of metal boxes you can put up for your lights because, you know, the dangers of maybe someday hanging a fan or, you know, the exact height of your step. You know, you can't make your step that much too high because that's going to kill people. Uh, you know, you think with all the rules I've been following, there would be a rule about, you know, contractors not dumping toxic gas contaminated rock under someone's house as a mitigation technique to get rid of toxic gas uh, from that. Yeah, it's really irritating. I mean, it just it fits in with the rest of it. If you are doing this yourself, I would highly recommend doing a test of the materials before they put them into the basement of your house because we're not going to get that stuff out of there. We're not going to rip the entire house down, pull up the entire floor and get all the gravel out of there at this point. I mean, it just it is what it is and we're going to have to deal with it. So that's why you're watching this series. If you ever do this yourself and you have someone bring uh, gravel in, have them dump it in a pile off to the side and test it. Get an electric tester or a, you know, a digital tester, test it for a week and see if it is pissing out radon because uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't uh, checked the rocks here to see if the rocks here would have been uh, an issue. Maybe we were going to have a radon issue anyway, but maybe we weren't. And the only reason that we have a radon issue right now is because the contractors dumped a bunch of radon under the house. The good news is it was supposed to rain today and it's not raining. So there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching.